Okay, uh, so for the following tutorials, I will go over the process uh, about how to create a picker from scratch. Um, so first thing, we go to picker menu and we see that there's a new picker portrait and set picker portrait. So what does a picker portrait mean? Um, a picker portrait is pretty simple concept. Let's go to browse and browse kind of picker portrait directory. And this will open up the uh, Windows Explorer um, to browse kind of picker project. Uh, so basically every uh, local picker files you saved, uh, the file will be stored in the uh, my document and Maya MG picker data and uh, the picker portrait folder. So the picker portrait is just the uh, subfolders in within this MG picker data rule folder. Okay, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, folders to organize these uh, picker files. Okay, um, so if you say um, new picker project and you create a new picker project, you will create a new folder uh, within this new folder. And um, there's a set picker project. Um, if you set picker project to other project right now uh, for that to demo, then all the picker file you created and save it, it will store within the uh, demo folder. Okay, uh, so for now I will go and create the um, new picker files. We go to picker menu and, and create new picker. And the hotkey for that is Control M. And the alternative way to do that is Control hold Control key and double click the empty area. That will also pop up the new picker dialog. So for a uh, picker portrait, we um, this is also another way to set up the current picker project. So we keep it to tutorial. Um, for picker, I will say it's um, Mary. You don't need to actually type in the uh, underscore picker as a, a suffix. and You just type in the character name. And the namespace, um, so you you must make sure that your character is actually being referenced in your MyRSync, not input in, into the MyRSync. So we just uh, use this button to select any part of this character and then use this button to input this namespace. Okay, and the, for the first panel, initial panel name, we use the default body and panel size, we, we need the default. And panel layout, panel layout is means um, if there's already uh, some panel that exists in your picker and um, horizontal layout means the new panel will be laid out at the right side and verti vertical panel layout means uh, the new panel will be laid out at the bottom of the exist panel right uh, so we just use horizontal picker layout now we got a um, new picker and uh, we got a new picker panel uh, so I will go through and quickly introduce the picker panels. Um, for the traditional picker uh, tools you used, uh, you have to design separated picker files for one single rig. So uh, maybe one picker files for its body and one picker files for its facial. So when you uh, load the picker files for a rig, you gotta load and um, browse and load as multiple files, but for MG Picker, I really um, advise you to only create one picker files or one picker node for one character. Okay, um, but um, you have to utilize the picker panel to organize the different content of your picker. So, say for body, there's one picker panel, and so for facial, say um, we can see here the, the already made pickers for Mary, I did it before. Um, so we have one panel for body, one panel for facial, and one panel for some attribute switching. Okay. So the beauty of the picker panel, uh, it organizes the different contents, but also you can switch uh, different to switch to different picker panels really quick uh, using these hotkeys. So uh, there's a digital beside these picker labels. This panel is zero, and this panel is one, and this panel is two. Um, so you can use the hotkey zero to switch to the uh, first panel, and hotkey one to switch to the second panel, two to the control panel. Okay. Um, for the um, First panel, you can use the tilde key instead of the zero key since zero key is not easy to be found. Uh, but the tilde key, 
uh, tilde key uh, is below the escape key and the top left corner of your keyboard. Okay, so you just press tilde to the first panel and one to the second panel, two to the third panel. Um, you can even use uh, the API provided by MGPICO Studio. Uh, basically, it's just a mail code or just um, Python code. You can actually, in a programming way, you can just switch to different panels uh, here. So let's switch back to the designer mode using FA hotkey. Um, so another beauty of Pico panel is it can carry one background image. Okay, so one panel, one background image. Um, uh, when you move this panel, all its children will move as well. So let's talk about more about these um, pick panels. Uh, let's go through all the attributes here, but um, a lot of them you can just try it and you know what they mean. Uh, so select this panel and first fill color. Uh, basically, it's the contain area color for this panel. Um, you just lighten it up. Um, the the main thing I will mention about this um, panel index, we just said that before. This is the hotkey zero, and you can switch to other panel index if there's a multiple picker panel here. And the frame color, uh, it's the outside frame color. So uh, the critical uh, attribute for a panel is its background image. Uh, so we can pick, go to this uh, triangle button and pick one exist um, image as the background of this panel. Uh, another way to do this is using this tri uh, menu triggered by this triangle button. So for each panel here, um, this triangle at the top right side of the panel, um, you just click it and the menu will pop up. So we will edit our panel mainly through this uh, clicking menu. So uh, we just pick an exist background image, and we just um, we just go through the pick data, and I just wanna pick the uh, image that outside our memory directory. Um, so let's check out the attribute. It's still in a uh, relative path. So that means let's browse and browse current picker directory. Um, we can see that the image we picked is also be copied to the picker file directory. So uh, it will try his best to keep your image within this memory folder. So it, when, when you want to move your memory folder to other space, all the image will still work, uh, still be displayed in this panel. So uh, he try his best to use relative path instead of absolute path. OK, um, we have tried pick an exist background image. Um, there's a lot of other features um, here in the Triangle menu. Um, the, the the second one is display cross line. Uh, it will toggle this um, cross line display. Um, if I want to snapshot the uh, 3D scenes as a background image, what what to do that? How to do that? Um, we just prepare a snapshot, and um, by default, it will snapshot the panel itself as well into uh, image plane in the 3D view. So what does that? Uh, how, how does that come handy? Uh, it's just for if I already create some buttons here, and I forgot to attach the image, and I will generate image right now, and I'll go to prepare snapshot, and you can uh, easily identify that where the buttons sits in the 3D view. So you can just address the um, 3D contents below this image plane and just snapshot. Um, so make sure that button still fitting the uh, background images. Okay, um, so this is what this option for. If you turn down and say prepare snapshot, snapshot it won't make that image plane for you. Okay, uh, we toggle this option so that we show this grid. So uh, for this grid, we can use it to actually align this um, 3D contents. Um, so 
we are ready and we have already um, turned off anything that we don't need to scrap and uh, we just use geometry um, press snapshot feature and you can see that the actual image being generated and being saved to the current folder okay uh, the thing that uh, worth to be mentioned is that when you snapshot a uh, image you can apply it a uh, predefined image styles like a um, Photoshop filter to an image so we if I switch to dint and press snapshot again uh, it, it will uh, ask you if you to uh, override this image so see uh, the image is more dimmed out and if I say dim bird and go to snapshot alright you will be bird and all this image style can be predefined by mask menu and image style okay uh, so this is the uh, preview image and dim bird dim gray dim silhouette and you can even uh, generate a silhouette image instead of this colored image and old styles a lot of them so you can just basically try out all these image or maybe customized using these parameters and save it as a style preset um, and choose the preset and snapshot it will apply that style and create an image okay um, so we have finished uh, create a background image um, let's see more more attribute that related to the image um, so basically for now if I say trans transform this using uh, T hockey, uh, this panel sites, you can see that the uh, image will try to fill out the maximum area and scale with the picker panel itself. Uh, this behavior can be changed if you set to uh, scale fit is turned on, turned off and keep ratio. Basically, you you have to keep this option on because uh, for so for now it won't scale with the picker panel. But if you uh, turn on the scale fit and turn off the keep ratio it will do so it will stretch the image and make the image ugly uh, but sometimes you may need this option to be on uh, so we just keep ratio and scale fit stay turn on so say if I want to uh, scale the panel itself to fit in the image original size uh, best you can just use control R to scale it, uh, you will uh, scale to a preferred size. Uh, for panel, the preferred size will the the size that contain all the picker buttons, and the, the it will try his best to uh, fit the uh, image original size. Okay, so Control R stands for the uh, scale to preferred size. So uh, Control R, a uh, resize. Uh, resize to prefer size. So every uh, pick up button has a prefer size be defined there. Um, you can just control R to scale it to prefer size. <laughs> okay, if I want to uh, add new pick up panels, we just go to the uh, add panel menu and the hockey for that is control shift and M. Um, an alternative way to do that is hold shift key and double click on this empty area and we just add a facial panel so for the demonstration purpose and save it uh, now uh, if I want to uh, repair these buttons to this panel how how, how to do that uh, because for now the these buttons uh, move with these panels so the, th the thing you gotta do is um, to scroll down it uh, so that menu will be visible um, in the edit tool we right click on this bigger button and we go to edit and there's a parent to parent panel below on all the unparent for parent panel so if I want to unparent these two buttons from this panel I just slap them and then right click on the one of them and then go to edit and unparent from parent panel so with this being done when you move the panel you can see that it's already unparent from this panel okay and so we are safe to move to this panel and then again we go to edit and then parent to pa panel below with this it's already parent to this 
uh, panel. Otherwise, you can just move to this panel because it has limits. It will limit you to move out of this panel boundary. Okay. Um, another thing uh, that uh, be worth to be mentioned is uh, even the panel itself can be parent to other panels. So let's see. Uh, we hit the T hockey to scale the uh, this panel, and then we move it to this uh, panels, and we go to the with the panel being selected. If you want to select this panel, you don't want to click on this area. Instead, you click on the title area to select the panel. Okay, uh, so we go to edit um, parent to panel panel be no. So for now, it's been parent parent to the this panel. Okay, so for now, I just undo this. Okay, uh, so if you want to move this panel and parent this panel into this um, panel, uh, you can see that it's being uh, stayed in background of this panel. So what? How do we bring it up? I just um, edit and um, bring to top, and then you just go to edit and um, parent to parallel below. So it's within this parallel range. Okay, so I just undo this. This is a um, parent and child relationship. Uh, another thing is um, for even for pick a panel and all its contents, you can just uh, control C copy it and paste it in other pick a file or pick a note. So uh, say I want to copy all the facial panel here, I just select the panel and control C and control V here. You can <coughs> see all the pick of uh, contents within that panel is also be copied to this. Um, just move it and maybe scale it and all the all the pick buttons are also copied. Uh, that's what I mean. Uh, so you can quickly borrow the some uh, ready made pick panels from other pick files and paste it in your pick files. Okay. Um, this is a pick panel and the next tutorial will go over the creation of select buttons. Okay.